In today's video, we'll see how to write a unit test case for an Angular component. In this video, we'll be writing a unit test case for a method which, which is making an API call using an Angular service and fetching the response and updating the data. So this is the method that we are going to write the unit test case for. The method name is get post details. And as you can see, uh, this is the line of code which is subscribing to the Angular service. Now before making the API call, it is setting a loading indicator and once uh, it has fetched the response from the API, it is setting the loading indicator as false. Now if you take a look at the response, if the response is received and if the response length is greater than zero, it is updating the response to the post details variable, else it is setting the post details variable as an empty array. Now we'll be uh, you're writing unit test case to test a couple of scenarios here. The first scenario being whether the loading indicator is true before making the API call and or if the, and, uh, if the loading indicator is false after the API call has been received. And the third one will be, third, probably the second last one will be uh, on receiving the response, if the response length is greater than zero, is it uh, updating the post details variable uh, with the response and on receiving a response which is of length zero, is it updating the post details as an empty array? So let's get started with writing our unit test case for the scenarios. This is the app component.spec file where we'll be writing the unit test cases for our app component. As you can see, this is the default boilerplate code for the app component. We have a describe which shows uh, app component here, which uh, yeah, for before executing each of the app component in test cases, we prepare the test bed uh, configuration modules by importing a couple of modules like router testing module, client testing module, and by declaring the components that we're executing and by adding providers that we're using inside the components. Now let's start by writing the unit test case. So we just need to define the first unit test case. So it should uh, call get post details and return an empty and return empty. So that's okay. Now we'll start by uh, defining or like creating a fixture component fixture for our app component. Let's define this thing as a fixture. This bit dot create component app component. Now this thing defines the fixture for the component. Now let's define an, an instance for our component using the fixture. Now this uh, gives us a component instance. Now, using this component instance, we can call the methods like get post details. This is the method that we are trying to unit test. And we are expecting something called component.postdetails to equal empty array. Now there's an issue with this code right now. Making a call to the guest get post details method would actually make the API call. So we need to uh, what do you call stub or like fake the API call. So for doing that we need to create we need to spy on the service call and return a dummy response. So let's create a stub for our API call. For that we'll be using the fixture injector.get app service. Now using this thing we can okay this we it's better to name it as service thing. So we'll call it app service. Now using the app service we can create a stub for our API service method. 
by a component and the instance method okay this is service actually uh, the app service okay get posts and dot call fake now this returns a fake response for IPI call let's return an observable Now since uh, this is an asynchronous call, we need to delay it by a sort of milliseconds to make it feel like asynchronous. So what you can do is we can add a pipe for this thing. Let's delay it by 300 milliseconds. Okay, we need to import pipe also here. So let's go above, import delay from rxjs slash operators so that should do I believe okay so okay now now to show the asynchronous uh, passage of time we will be using uh, something called uh, fake async so we need to uh, include or like move this whole section into a fake async environment for that we need to add fake async here and wrap it around here so now we can control the asynchronous passage of time for this api call so as you can see while making the ap this while calling this method before making the api call we need to check uh, that the we will be expecting the component dot show loading indicator to equal true once the api call has completed so we can make the api call complete by uh, moving the asynchronous passage of time so we can do something called tick to move the to complete this 300 millisecond delay here so you doing a tick here moves it async moves the asynchronous passage of time synchronously so now once the api call has completed we'll be expecting the loading indicator to be false and the post details will be empty as we are passing it from here so now let's uh, run this code and see if it works as expected it's running the ng test using a code coverage also and there you have it it ran successfully and completed the unit test case now similar way you can write uh, similar test cases for the other, other scenarios also so that's all for this video thanks for watching and stay tuned for more more videos to come thank you